Since his move away from comedies such as 1982's Night Shift and 1989's Parenthood and into serious filmmaking with Apollo 13 in 1995, Ron Howard's films have balanced more fantastical stories such as The Da Vinci Code with narratives focused on real events, A Beautiful Mind and Frost Nixon, for example. Recently, Howard has extended this fascination with the real and has begun to make a name for himself as the director of a series of documentaries that focus on the world of popular music, including Made in America, which examined the festival of the same title organised by Jay-Z, and The Beatles' Eight Days a Week, The Touring Years. The most recent of Howard's documentaries is Pavarotti, which, as one might imagine from the title, examines the life of operatic tenor Luciano Pavarotti. Pavarotti's work was marked by his crossover appeal, bridging the worlds of opera and popular music. Howard's documentary examines Pavarotti's youth in Italy during the war to his days as one of the three tenors and into the later years of his life, which were largely defined by his work with charities. Howard's documentary intersperses archival footage with new interviews with those who knew Pavarotti, including members of his family, fellow opera singers and members of the three tenors Placido Domingo and Jose Carreras, and Bono. Howard sidesteps or glosses over some of the more negative incidents in Pavarotti's career, including the infamous time that Pavarotti was heckled by the Logionisti, a particular crowd of opera aficionados who are known for their hostile catcalling when his voice cracked during a performance of Verdi's Don Carlos in Milan in 1992. Nevertheless, Howard's approach in containing the various strands of Pavarotti's life as husband and father, as operatic tenor, as popular singer, is meticulous, and the obvious attention paid to the sound mix means that the film benefits from being watched in the cinema with a good sound system. I learned to love people. Are you a wow. trusting person? Are you joking? I will not exist if I don't trust people. The reason he is great is he lived those songs. The mistakes you've made, the hopes, the desires, all that comes crashing into the performance. Luciano was the one and only. 